Hello and good morning, beautiful family. It is Tuesday, June the 11th, 2024. First and foremost, happy birthday to our wonderful King of Cups. I hope you have a blessed day, lovey, if you watch this. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to get into these uh, oracles. Now, some of them are repeats, as you can tell, but little man last night brought me something, and he says this is for the oracles. He said oracles, okay? So, oracle cards get, oops, sorry about the camera, a little prop. He sees the candles there. I know the candles aren't on, but because of the lighting, but he wants to add a prop. So, welcome to Stacking Blocks. They're part of the Oracle Cards today from Little Man for Mimi's friends. Okay? So, enjoy. Okay. Well, let's get into this. We have your Work Your Light Oracle today, and it is the Council of Light. All right. Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. All right. So it looks like that's our divine council that helps give us answers. All right. So the Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet. They're here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you or without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it is time to ask them. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. They're willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What task would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, and guides devoted to the rising of the earth and all of humanity. If you're a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission, like a spirit world, the United Nations. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but okay. They want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your request and let them get to work. Now, for me personally, I don't pray to them. I pray to God, and if God chooses to have them assist you and he will send them that's my personal opinion if you want to pray to them you have free will to do that so um, we have a council of all different types of beings and light workers angels ready to help us so always ask for help I know that I could use it all right okay we got a couple familiar cards and I had just noticed right before I started recording that they're the same number. Um, the Gaia Oracle is Winter's End, and that's number 16. Regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. Number 16. All right. Gaia Oracle. It says, this card signifies rebirth, regeneration, and new growth. You may not know it, but the cycle has already begun. A cold, gray period of your life is coming to an end. A new season begins. As with the tree lady featured on this card, the first signs of spring are just starting to show. The first shoots have sprouted and soon the new buds will be in full bloom as they bathe in the light of the sun. Many beautiful things are in store for you. New opportunities present themselves sometimes quite unexpectedly. When they do, embrace them. Do not hesitate, for this is your time to shine. This is a lucky and prosperous period for you. Many things that were previously not possible now are. Doors that were previously closed are now open. This card also signifies travel and positive outcome. Okay, so obviously we're not talking about seasons in the physical on Gaia, but spiritual sense. Of if you've been going through a dark phase in your life it's coming to an end okay we think positive we get positive all right now the next one 
is the Shamanic Healing, and I noticed that that is also the number 16, and this is about masculine energy. Okay, so we've had this one before too. All right, this is the sun, powerful, a life force without which nothing on this earth could survive. The masculine energy is one of action, doing, creating, forcing. In nature, it is balanced out with feminine energy. When we find ourselves embodying this energy, we get things done. We're thinking, logical beings. If we reside here too staunchly, we do not have any room for the opposite energy to come in. Being able to effortlessly flow from one to the other, masculine to feminine, is the pinnacle of being in the flow energetically. Sometimes in love relationships, the energy turns topsy-turvy, and we end up residing in an energy that doesn't meet our highest need. This is hard to break out of due to the fear. The fear of, well, if I don't do it, it won't get done. Ha! Huh. Well, sounds like Jim. Realize that two people make up a relationship, and an evolved one, the relationship itself, develops its own energetic balance. A perfect combination of yin and yang. All right. <clears throat> now, always remember there's a little bit of masculine and feminine in each of us. Okay? It's a matter of finding the balance, and we can do it. All right? I've had to learn that if I don't do it, it doesn't get done. I say the world's not going to end if it doesn't get done. It's as simple as that. Balance is everything. It's good for the psyche because you drive yourself crazy trying to do everything. Okay? All right, let's move on to our sacred traveler today. And this is Vast Vistas. Expand your horizons. Interesting picture. I don't know why he looks like a jack in the box, but okay. Let's see what it says. Expand your horizons. It means see the world around you in new ways. This is not a time to think small. It's an exciting time for you. You may find travel or new adventures in your future. Think outside the box. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. Ideas and projects that you've been contemplating are now moving toward manifestation. Unconventional relationships may flourish. Take time to nurture your dreams for big changes are ahead. Wow, okay. Expand your horizons. We're going on a journey. New things are in front of us. All right. So, your wonderful angel answers of shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever your question is today, the angels say no. Sorry. Angels say no. But why are they saying no? And it may not, uh, it may not resonate with you. It may have nothing to do with you. Not all cards will be for everybody every day. That's okay. But the angels say the response to your in inquiry is a firm no. You needn't worry though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. So it looks like today we're looking at timing is everything. Okay. And some of the other cards have already uh, emphasized that, but the, uh, the rest of them in the reading will also get you to understand that timing is everything. And it's not necessarily our timing, it's divine timing. And our healing therapy is one step at a time. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I, may, I make progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. You don't have to go so fast that things get away from you. Be in the moment. Okay? We're, we're not running a sprint here. Okay? Slow but steady wins the marathon. Okay? Now, another one is your Starseed Oracle, and it's trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Timing is not running out. Time is not running out. It's about divine timing. We as humans seem to let our egos push, push, push. I know best. I know when the right timing is. And our beloved God is going, you sure about that? Okay. 
So it says, so often those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time's running out and they spend their life worrying that they might miss their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it. It's never too late to answer a calling and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride a wave that was never meant for you. You'll waste your precious time and energy when instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one you're in. Don't let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems that everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave you came in on, to trust the season that you're in Time isn't running out. There's plenty of time. There's no rush, and it's never too late. Okay. So, we got to slow down and be in the moment. That's where they're going with this today. All right. Telepathy Tree Oracle today is commitment. Commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship. I would go a little further, not just relationships, but commitment to whatever your plans are. You're committed on this journey, but we also have to, if you're committed, it will happen when it's meant to happen with that timing, okay? Just be in the moment, stay committed, and everything will fall into place. Now, if that's a relationship, commitment is important. If you want it to work, you gotta be, you gotta be there decide that that's what you want to commit to and let it fall into place but don't rush it but don't go too slow either okay you'll figure it out it's all about balance and your final little extra tarot today talk about being courageous and um, having a passion for new adventures okay the knight of wands is that's what he's about he is all about taking an adventure, uh, having the courage to do it, keep moving forward. Remember in the regular rider weight, he's one of the bucky horses, okay? He's, he's driven with passion, okay? So if this is you and you have a lot of passion and you're driven to go on your next adventure or whatever your life's purpose is, keep going. But remember, this guy can go too fast overthink or underthink something and it can get very reckless and make poor decisions because you're not thinking it through he is committed but sometimes you go too fast you're missing something patience sometimes is our worst enemy you don't have to go so fast that you you don't stop smell the roses so to speak All right or you miss what's going by be in the moment but still keep that courage and passion on your adventure or your project or your relationship but one step at a time okay if you need help call on your counsel okay but is the season it's tis the season for uh new adventures okay even though the angel answer today was no maybe you asked if you should go somewhere maybe you should ask is I don't know I'm gonna get a raise at work it could be anything if that doesn't resonate it's okay maybe none of it resonates with you I've told you that before it's okay and wait for the next set of Oracle cards but that's it for today I hope you all have a blessed day I will see you tonight on the special show where Taro and I and the Oracle cards will kind of deep dive and try to interpret your dreams for you so if you have one bring them tonight 6 p.m. Eastern, and I'll see you there. Until then, you guys have a very blessed day.